Over the course of two years that I've been doing the product reviews, I have been telling you that the content creation realm landscape has been changing and evolving. And nowadays, anybody can be a content creator. Knowing that a lot of companies are starting to branch out and make products for other types of content creators than they normally do. With that being said, Joby has apparently stepped into making products for streamers. Joby is known for their gorilla pods, their tripod, their camera accessories and the like. And now again, they're branching out into making other types of accessories and I would say products for different types of content creators. With that being said, I told Joe Bean, just like I tell all the companies, that um, I'm just brilliantly honest and I break products over the coals. And if you can't handle that, then you know maybe not send me a product. And um, some companies still do, and then they see the review and they get upset and everything like that, and they never work with me again. Now I told Joe Bean all this, and they were still like, yeah, they wanted honest feedback. They wanted us to really dig deep into the product and let them know what they could possibly change so they can make further uh, improvements or maybe make different products in the future and stay within making products outside of what they normally do. This is a good thing for us as consumers and content creators because that means we're getting companies who may be more proficient in another area starting to bring that stuff over into other aspects of content creation. So this is a very, very good thing, but you have to leave your honest thoughts and opinions in the comment section so they can sit there and look and see where people want and what what people might have um, to say as far as positive negatives whatever it may be feedback is good feedback so i'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys right now This box is huge. It's almost as tall as me. I'm six foot and it's almost to my chest. But again, Joby wants to know. So let's go ahead and give him our feedback. So before we get into the actual review, I want to say that getting these these actual boxes or wherever in and that initial unboxing experience, uh, these boxes are in pristine condition. Um, I don't know if it's because it's coming straight from the headquarters. Um, and obviously, if you order stuff on Amazon, it might be a little bit handled a little bit different as far as the person carrying the box, all that stuff. But it looks like if you at least get it from Joby themselves, the box is going to be uh, very well packaged. I'm talking about the inside packing with the air bubble packaging and all that stuff um it was very very tight so i doubt these products even moved around or anything like that and i know some people are going to say well you got a review sample um i seriously doubt that that's what it is because i'm a small content creator i don't have millions of subs or you know people watching and stuff like that so that's probably not the case that's just how they package and uh, that's a good sign because i have done a lot of products within the two years of doing uh, product reviews and i don't get packaging like that as far as an in initial box so let's go ahead and do some unboxing here i do not have my top down cam because i was told that these products were going to be big um and i'm kind of glad because i don't think of how high my camera goes that uh, i would be able to actually i would say capture the actual box itself so apparently this is their take on a usb microphone this is the Wo wavo pod um obviously you can tell that they took some iteration or inspiration from i would say like a blue yeti or something like that um it's very interesting that companies are still doing that um a lot of people are just tired of blue yetis it works with a solo or interview setup unfortunately my wife is inexposed so i can't uh test that out um, but it includes a pop filter. Um, you can monitor it and you have a customizable workflow. So you can obviously hook it up to a microphone boom arm if you want to, but it also comes with something that can sit on your desk. I know a lot of people still use their microphones on desk. Don't do that. Put your microphones on a microphone boom arm. This one, from what I understand, I looked it up a little bit before I started this recording. Um, this one apparently is $99. Uh, so that's a little bit steep for a usb microphone that's gonna be looking like the you uh i would say blue yeti um i do want to say that this foam yo the packaging that joby is doing is it's, it's, it's really good i'm not saying that just because they sent me out a review i'm telling you from again somebody who's unpacked a lot of microphones purchased for myself uh with my own money or having them sent out to me 
um, this is really good foam. This is really good packaging. That makes sense that this box is in a good, I would say, condition. All right, there's nothing else in the box. Uh, as you can see, we have a cable that's a USB Type-C to USB Type-C. Uh, looks like obviously a long cable, so that's interesting. And then we have a USB Type-C to USB Type-A. I'm actually torn. Let me know what you guys think. Should it had just came with an adapter for the USB Type-C to A? Um, that's what companies usually do. The USB Type-A seems to be a little bit longer than the USB Type-C, which is interesting. Um, I'm not sure as you can tell it's obviously coiled up so you could probably tell I will see if they have the specifications of how long these cables are on their website I can tell you that uh, the microphone itself is lightweight I can tell that the base is metal it's actually super heavy it has a nice filling pad on the bottom um, so I would imagine yeah you got to put some force behind it to actually move it on the desk this is fairly interesting uh that the shock mount or pop filter whatever you want to call it is uh actually attached to the back of the microphone with this little knob here um i actually kind of do like that um they have a pattern uh indicator right here on the side so it tells you and then um they have another pattern on this other side or wherever i guess to say if you're doing solo or uh I guess multi uh omni omnidirectional um you have a joby link which i think is an accessory i don't think they sent me anything for that but i think this is for um a different type of product that you can get in a packaging combo with this i'll leave on screen what it looks like but i think that's what i saw on the website when i looked at these products um but yeah on the on the front this is what it looks like wavo pod um, very interesting name. Um, this pop filter is pretty big. It's plasticky though. Um, it does have some give to it, I would say, as far as like wiggle. But um, overall, it's pretty sturdy, pretty interesting. Um, like I said, the mic seems to be somewhat lightweight. You have a tap down here to be able to attach it, I guess, to a microphone boom arm. Um, which is interesting so you could probably use it without the yoke if you wanted to um you have a headphone jack right here and you have a obviously type c uh cable port right there to actually hook up to your computer or pc laptop whatever it is um you have a mic mute button very standard i would say filling this one is a little bit it feels like a little bit cheaper filling but it's a way to change your pattern overall feels good now the pricing that i understand this microphone itself is going to cost around uh a hundred dollars and um telling you guys straight off at the back just the feel of it i don't really know if it's worth a hundred dollars uh, just based off of the uh, the microphone stand or wherever it sits on the on the actual table is good um but you know that comes with the two cables or whatever they're good length i would say um but i would like to see in the future maybe selling accessories or maybe including another color in the box or wherever other than red um just because again people have different obviously aesthetics of their setup and uh they might want something to match so again having an ability to replace this bright red with something else wherever might be something that you want to think about in the future i would say other than that, I would have to test the sound quality to see. But again, $99 for a USB type microphone that doesn't have the capability of being able to plug up into an XLR interface. When I have covered microphones in the past that have that combo um, that allows you to expand and further upgrade or wherever, $99, unless this thing sounds amazing, it's a very, very steep price, I would say. So that's going to be kind of my first con right before we uh, actually do a sound test. Really need to get me a unboxing knife if you guys got any thoughts and opinions on that let me know in the comments below uh because I, I need one all right so it looks like we're continuing with the red theme here i'm guessing based off my knowledge of other microphone boom arms i have this is going to be a cable sleeve like cover up so you run your cables and you put this on top again if you're gonna go with the red or wherever i know back in the day like early 2000s early 2010s or something like that 
um, people liked the whole red and black. That was like the gamery kind of thing to do. Um, but we kind of fell away from that. A lot of people like, again, other color schemes and stuff like that. So please, in the future, um, you know, maybe sell some kind of type of accessories or make it an option to where if somebody purchases one of your products or wherever, they can purchase like the that product and it's blue variant, it's white variant, you know what I'm saying? Like you kind of do. Um, so when somebody buys this, they look up on it and be like, okay, so what do you want? The white shield variant, the black shield variant, you know, the blue variant, something like that. Um, so you don't have to individually buy these accessories and then you're just wasting products because you're sending out, you know, stuff or wherever they can just buy initially what exactly they want. It looks like we have a, uh, the pent up, uh, stored energy thing or wherever for this type of microphone boom arm. The way it looks, honestly, if you guys have been here uh, on the channel recently, I did a microphone boom arm cover for uh, IX Tech, I think it was. Um, I think there was called the Captain or something like that. It's very reminiscent of that, but I can tell you straight off the bat, it feels a little bit better than that. Um, it feels more metal um, included in this one. It feels a little bit more heavier then the one from ix tech and on top of that um it's not overly plasticky it just seems like there's a plastic housing that goes over the primarily metal part um to make it look more aesthetically pleasing it's more slim and clean i do like this uh look i would say okay so we have some more accessories in here um it looks like some kind of grommet or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe there's a booklet in here that can explain what this thing is, but it looks like we got something like that. Uh, we got some threads and some different ways to connect, obviously different, I would say, uh, products and stuff to the microphone boom arm itself. Uh, we have a cover that covers, that's a magnetic cover that covers the tension adjustment points or wherever with the Allen key. Um, so you don't have to have it always exposed. That's, that's up to you if you want to cover that or not. Um, down here, we have a box that's kind of hefty. Improved our products and digitized our instruction manual. Uh, okay, so uh, go ahead and scan that or wherever you get the actual manual, which means that the I would imagine that the actual microphone came out before this then because they digitized their manuals. Um, so that's interesting. Okay. Again, I wasn't even aware that Joby was starting to do this stuff. I was looking at them for possible camera, um, you know, products and stuff like that. So Joby, if you want to send me out some camera accessories and stuff like that, I would not mind looking at it, uh, taking a look at whatever. Okay. Okay, so this is very interesting. Okay, so let me put this box away or wherever so I can take a look at this base. This is very, very interesting. Um, okay, so it looks like we have a big, and I mean big, robust cup holder. Um, it barely, it barely even, uh, my, my glitched energy drink cup barely even fits in here. Um, which if you didn't know, it's a sponsor of the channel. Use code SQUID, 20% off. There's always a link in the description. You could probably fit like a decent sized coffee mug. I've stopped drinking coffee. I don't think even I have a coffee mug in my kitchen period at all. Um, I've stopped drinking it like years ago, uh, but it looks like there's a hole here, which based off of that, I would imagine the Allen key probably sits in there for easy access to actually adjust uh, the tension and stuff like that which is cool because you have the tension points and like screws right here and stuff like that to apparently take this off um and then you have a headphone jack or hanger under here with a good decently i would say padded headphone rest or wherever um the bottom is not attached to the actual uh headphone i would say hanger or wherever as you can see i'm moving it up and down it's not actually attached to this um, so that's interesting, but this is metal. This is heavy. I, I'm telling you right now, this, this right here is definitely heavy. Um, that's very, very interesting that this side of it, it's, it's like one sided heavy. Um, I'm guessing that helps with securing it to the desk. My thing about this is I wonder if, uh, if you have one of those particle board desks or something like that, would this weight being like this and then you're putting a cup or something on it, like a coffee mug, 
um, depending on the type of coffee mug because the handle there's no handle port so you would have to put something so maybe it would be okay because you're not putting too much but i'm wondering if over time it would be like this and break you know your desk if you have one of those cheap desks um but obviously this thing is, isn't cheap i didn't talk about the price of the actual microphone boom arm apparently it's a hundred dollars as well i as far as that goes i'm just gonna be honest with you guys i'm not gonna sugarcoat anything i'm not even gonna attempt to uh act like anything uh, paying like i said before even in the ix tech video and stuff like that there's so many companies that make microphone boom arms i've seen the whole you know cup holder thing or wherever but they're mostly plastic and stuff and they're very cheap um these traditional uh, scissor microphone boom arms are not for me i prefer low profile boom arms so even if i have to have a microphone in a shot you're not seeing this big thing or wherever it just doesn't look professional in my personal opinion even if you're a streamer um so that's up to you if you like that i would like to see joby do something with this attachment or wherever and maybe i can make shift one of my other microphone boom arms to uh incorporate this base because i think the, they're doing right on the base as far as the weight of it and being metal and everything like that it feels premium so i like what they're doing here but keep this base and make a low profile boom arm and on top of that if you can make a white version you got me sold i would buy it um as far as being 90 dollars uh for the metal stuff here that i'm feeling or wherever seeing these attachments i'm guessing that either this is for a replacement of this or this is for a grommet i'm guessing this is probably for a grommet um like we've seen with the ix tech i'm, I'm guessing just based off of what i'm looking right there and my personal knowledge and experience with microphone boom arms so keep this make another color make it white to wherever those are the primary two ones that people are looking for and also make a low profile boom arm version of it and i think you're on the right track with that um but again 99 dollars for a microphone boom arm and all you really get is a hand headset and a cup holder or wherever again it might be premium and everything as far as feeling or wherever it feels like hey i bought this that's it i don't need any other microphone boom arms that's what this feels like but at the same time people nine times out of ten they don't really probably would not really care for a cup holder or something like that even though it's nice and this might be a nice product as far as the feel and the build quality but still knowing how people are and still thinking that it's just holding your microphone they're not gonna buy you know uh a microphone boom arm that's $99. They're gonna sit there and buy something probably akin to the Fine Fine BM88, which is a low profile boom arm that's like 50 bucks. And they have one that's a traditional scissors or wherever that's in white again, and in black and both of them are, and it's around the same price again. So that's what people are tend, tend to do when it comes to microphone boom arms. But if you're looking for a premium one, you're looking for a metal one, um, maybe this looks interesting to you again there'll be links to both of these down in the description but uh overall i like the build quality let's set this up and do some microphone testing and then wrap up the video So straight off the bat, I have the Wavo pod hooked up straight to my PC. I want to go ahead and tell you guys that 
the cable that's hooked up to my PC that's way over there is actually not cable managed and it's long enough to sit on my desk and go way over there to my PC or wherever underneath or wherever and plug into a USB hub. So that's the non type C cable that is actually pretty long. I do like it. So with that out the way, I want to go ahead and say a few things that I noticed as far as hooking up this microphone right here is that the actual knob does light up blue and it tells you which uh there's a blue lit indicator light that tells you which pattern you're in um and what i would have liked to see for the knob is actually the blue light go up and decrease or wherever depending on how loud you're turning the microphone so you know visibly where your actual volume is set on this dial. I think that would be a really good improvement because I think you have the right idea as far as having a light there, but just let me know by visibly looking how loud my microphone is. With that being said, as you can see over here, I have a fan going. Um, it's a little bit, obviously, uh, I would say a little bit longer than arm's length away. Uh, we're going to have it being, you know, directly at us or wherever. We're going to see the raw sound with the fan on and off. And there's not going to be any VSTs or any plugins or anything like that. Uh, you can see right here, I have the Wavelink. It's actually picking up the microphone right now. Um, so that's kind of interesting. I have my headphones plugged in straight into the mic so I can hear how the microphone sounds. And uh, we'll just go ahead and do some testing with that. All right, as you can see, the fan is off visibly. I'm gonna go ahead and mute my overhead mic. All right, so this is the sound of the Jovi, I would say, Wavo pod, as you can, you know, obviously hear. This is obviously probably not the most optimal situation. You'll probably be closer like this or wherever on the desk and you will be talking straight into the mic itself. Um, obviously, you would not want to have the microphone on the desk, but I'm gonna go ahead and tap on the desk so you can hear. we get closer now keep in mind that this desk is actually real wood with metal legs I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the fan now for you guys the fan is on four I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up to eight I, I think that's actually pretty good for level eight. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down to four again and turn it off. I have a keyboard behind it. It is uh, Gateron yellow switches. Um, so we'll see how it sounds. I did turn down the microphone a little bit to, you know, hear what I think. I do have it in the um, correct cardioid pattern, not the omino directional pattern. So that's behind the actual I would say behind the actual microphone itself. Let's go ahead and move the microphone back a little bit and put the keyboard in front and test. Yeah, this is why you don't put microphones on the desk, but let's go ahead and bring it a little bit closer um, and talk into it. Uh, I guess if you had it on the desk and you were talking and you got really close to the mic, this is what it's gonna sound like. Pa, pa, pa. trying to see the plosives and what you would get from this pop filter um i think closer and probably obviously on this microphone boom arm it's going to sound way better um uh, that's just a natural thing proximity effect whatever you want to call it um but overall i actually do really like the sound of this microphone um i think it sounds really really good does it sound like it needs to be 99 dollars? in my personal opinion no this sounds like a 50 or 60 dollar microphone in my personal opinion um, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below but yeah that's what i would say um, it does kind of remind me a little bit of the fine fine a6t that i covered before it's a usb microphone but it sounds a little bit better than that that's why i said around 50 to 60 bucks maybe 65 at the most i would pay for this type of microphone um, but again, I prefer dynamic microphones because as you can see, yes, it was on the desk, but it, these types of microphones that pick up all types of audio, background noise, all that stuff. So even if you have a fan on, you have a keyboard, you're doing content creation, then yeah. Um, if you're a streamer, this might not be for you, but if you're doing voiceover work and you can control the ambient noise of your room, 
this microphone might be something that you're interested in. Again, this is for all types of content creators, not just for streamers, just because the company says it's for streamers. So let's go ahead and attach it to the actual microphone boom arm and see uh, what kind of you know experience we get. All right, so there's two things that I wanna go ahead and say with this microphone. Uh, is that at the base of it, I had to take off one of the accessories that was in one of the plastic bags or whatever for the microphone boom arm and actually put it underneath uh, the screw place or whatever for the yoke and then hook it up because I'm not gonna use the little thread that's on the bottom of the microphone. I guess I kind of understand why it's there, but uh, you're gonna want to have it on a yoke or wherever it looks better and it's probably gonna do a little bit more for you if you start to move the arm around whether as being directly plugged into the I would say the microphone and on top of that it gives you better access to the ports on the bottom of the microphone now what I failed to realize when I unboxed this microphone boom arm and I talked about having these red uh, you know cable covers or wherever they actually include black ones that you can run the cable over or wherever, which is really cool. And that's what I thought. I think in the future, if they could come out with uh, ones, you know, obviously have the black already installed, but come out with, you know, little ones, maybe add on, or maybe specifically if somebody wants the these ones with blue and then maybe black or wherever is already pre-installed and you can get different versions off the bat. I think that would be really, really cool um, if they did something like that. But overall, the range of motion is just about the same, I would say, with any of these microphone boom arms. Uh, there's nothing really to write home about other than the actual base of it. Other than, like I've probably said before, is that I like the slim and sleekness of this microphone boom arm. It doesn't have anything jutting off the top or the bottom or the back or wherever. It looks like a microphone boom arm that you would probably see uh, somebody using in content creation for a podcast or something like that. If you do like this traditional, um, I would say, microphone boom arm look, I, I don't like any of this being in the shot. I don't like any of this period, in my personal opinion, because it doesn't look professional, even for streaming. But what ends up happening is that you get uh, a nice looking one, I would say, uh, that allows you to have... Uh, a professional sleek looking modern looking take on the traditional microphone boom arm and this microphone is a very light microphone and I have not made any adjustments to the microphone boom arm as far as attention and stuff goes um, and it's holding up very very well so I will put on the screen what kind of uh, weight this microphone boom arm can handle or wherever I don't really have too many heavy microphones I think I got maybe one and that's it and it's not really even that heavy so you know look and see if comparable if it's good for your uh, microphone's weight capacity but from what I know is that this base is very very thick it feels sturdy or wherever um, this outer housing right here is plastic um, you can feel the metal and feel the weight and you can see the metal right here um, but this housing that's that's plastic um, it looks really really nice and kind of can tell that it's plasticky but it doesn't feel like cheap or whatever again this looks pretty pretty good um, overall like I said for the microphone boom arm again I would probably at the most pay 70 for it uh, not a hundred dollars is it's the kind of steep but just because the way it looks knowing that the in, inner mechanism is metal it's not like springy like I heard with the IX tech microphone boom arm or wherever their version of this maybe down here is a little bit springy um, but mostly what you're gonna be handling is up here you're not gonna handle this too much in the back really um, and even if you bump it you could probably tell that back here this is where the springs are so more often than not you're gonna be handling anything from here down and then with the captain and other microphone boom arms you hear springs throughout the whole entire thing and even then it's not that bad of a reverberation of the springs off the back getting picked up so again i don't think this is a hundred dollars but i would say around 70 would be a good price for it uh 80 is pushing it but a hundred dollars is definitely going to be a no for me um that's just me personally uh, maybe if you added something else, I don't know what you could like you did with the base wearer, the cup holder and headphone hanger. I do like, you know, the aspect of it. But again, if you release a low profile boom arm that's like this, then 
I would say, you know, obviously go ahead and, uh, you know, keep it around $70. Um, another reason why is because we've seen, yes, this one has something that might be like for grommets or wherever. Um, but what we've seen with the IX Tech and why I kind of gave it a little bit misgivings is that it had an extension rod. This one doesn't have an extension rod to make the microphone higher or the microphone boom I'm higher. Um, so when you start including stuff like that or like it came with a uh, cell phone holder slash tablet holder as well. And like when you come with different, um, I would say, options and kind of doing some more ingenuity as far as what you're bringing to the table when it comes to microphone boom arms somewhere, some pla a place in content creation where there's a lot already out there. You have to come with some kind of innovation. Again, having a cup holder and having a headphone hanger, it's good. We're starting to see that on a lot of microphone boom arms already. But you need to start coming with like extension rods and stuff like that. Maybe some RGB. I've seen that or wherever those usually are bad anyways, as far as RGB lighting. I'm not saying Joby needs to do that, but we need to start seeing a little bit more innovation inside of the content creation realm for microphone boom arms. Because I think we're getting too much too placent, uh, complacent, even with the low profile boom arms. So, like I said, Joby, you are probably going to if you want to charge this price. You're probably going to want to start including uh, with this microphone boom arm in particular an extension rod that lifts up the microphone uh, boom arm higher. And on top of that, uh, coming with tablet connectors um, or a cell phone holder or something like that um, to really kind of justify having that price. Because, again, I do like the microphone boom arm. I think it's really good for people who like the traditional scissor arm. I think it looks good and everything. I think a white version would be stellar. Um, and look very very good especially like just based off of what I'm seeing here and I like all this stuff I like the you know the rubber right here to protect your desktop and everything like I said the cup holder all that stuff I can see a lot of people liking this one it's just that price I I can't recommend it at that price it's too it's too it's way too expensive um, overall thoughts on the microphone now um, again if the LED light in the in the front or wherever could tell me how loud I am turning my microphone would be really really nice um, it it it's okay you're still gonna need some kind of background removal noise remover or whatever or something like that when you're editing software or you may be live streaming in, in with OBS or some kind of program or wherever you're gonna want to remove you know the fan noise and everything it sounds really really good i do think it sounds really, really good again i think at this price point though there's going to be better dynamic microphones out there you're going to start competing with microphones that have usb connections like the mayano one that comes with software and it's a dynamic microphone uh you have other options out there from like i said the likes of fine fine um and everything you're competing in a space at that price point uh with really really good microphones that have you know usb and xlr capability as well um don't get me wrong the microphone doesn't sound bad as far as like the sound at least to me but i do think that uh in that price point at, or at that price point you gotta do a little bit more you gotta add a little bit more it's nice to have that omnidirectional it's nice to have that directional um it's nice to have this little cool pop filter and stuff like that but have different colors and everything in the future but it's kind of hard at that price point for me to be like yeah you know this is this is good um, again, there's nothing really wrong with the product, even if you want to say it looks like a Blue Yeti or something like that. Um, again, I think it sounds nice, the capsule, whatever it is or wherever, in my personal opinion, my ears listen directly to the microphone. It sounds good, even for my voice with no VSTs, no plugins or anything like that. It's just I would like to see their take on a dynamic microphone that's like this, even if it's USB or XLR. I would like to see that because I do think they got something here. It's just the price point. I can't sit here and tell you because that means if you haven't noticed that this microphone and this microphone boom arm together is two hundred dollars. At that price point, there's a lot of combos out there that you can get. Uh, even maybe a cheap old audio mixer that can plug a XLR microphone in and get the microphone boom arm, and you you know get a really good sounding uh setup or whatever so again it, it sort of is does look premium and everything like that but 
it's not $99 premium in my personal opinion. So again, hopefully this doesn't dissuade Joby from doing stuff like this. Cause again, I think they are on the right track. I think they got something here. It's very, very good. I want them to stay in this space and keep on making products like this and find their foothold. So I'm not trying to discourage them by saying these negative things, but again, as a content creator who's been streaming and doing content since like 2015 and been doing product reviews and looking at different products, somebody who didn't have any money and has money or whatever, the $200 for this stuff is a drop in a bucket for me. It doesn't matter because um, I could afford it. But somebody who used to be negative in the bank account all the time and stuff, content creators are not looking for products that might actually be good like this they're they're gonna f always try to find the cheaper ones a lot of companies don't realize that is that the mainstream content creators out there wherever there's a lot of popular ones they have the money for this stuff it like me it would be a drop in a bucket to them but your core fan base your core consumer base the people who are going to be mainly buying this stuff is going to be those who are people who are who are on a budget who are don't who don't have that much money to spend like two hundred dollars on this they, they they can't be asked to do that they will go out and pay a hundred dollars for a microphone and a microphone boom arm you know what i'm saying combo so just keep on just keep that in mind moving forward but uh let's go ahead and wrap up this review so I want to go ahead and specify again thank you Joby for sending this out for a review there's nothing wrong I would say particularly wrong with these products i do think that they have their own spot inside the content creation realm it's just that at this price point these products are really really good don't get me wrong but at this price point i think they would be better off lowering the prices because like i said when you start charging stuff around a hundred dollars nowadays there's already companies especially who are already established in the content creation space that this is trying to um place itself in they're already established and they already have i would say a monopoly on those price points um, when i look at microphones like this i look at the fine fine microphones like the k688 or the uh the am8 from fine fine both of those are dynamic microphones but they have combo jacks for xlr usb microphones and on top of that they're dynamic microphones so i don't have to do as much work to reject the sound or wherever like I would have to do with this microphone in particular even if I'm doing voiceovers and stuff um, as well as you know other microphones out there that Mayano has like I said USB microphone for like 80 bucks and it comes with that software and I can do stuff or wherever to make the microphone sound good again it's a dynamic microphone I'm pretty sure they have another uh, microphone out there that's not a dynamic microphone but it still has access to the software you see what I'm saying so like yes it's it's good premium quality like i would say you know as far as how it feels and stuff nothing feels like overly cheap or anything like that um it's just it's more so that the market out there nowadays there's too many competitors that i would recommend over this stuff um like this is going to be this microphone boom arm the traditional one is going to be in my personal opinion better than the ix tech i will go ahead and say that um, the microphone or wherever is better than I would say the fine fine a6t but that was like a 40 50 dollar microphone so that's why I'm saying these products would probably be better at 70 dollars um, and I would say around that I would be like yeah you know 7 60 70 dollars for this microphone or 60 70 dollars for the microphone boom arm that still might be expensive to some people out there for the microphone boom arm but again this is coming from somebody who has had multiple different types of microphone boom arms been doing streaming and content creation using different types of mics from the blue yeti all the way up to the microphones i have now to the i think the most expensive one i have is the sure uh mv7 again i could buy the sure sm7b but there's no point that's just a that's just a waste of money in my personal opinion it regards on how good the microphone sounds um so i you know what I'm saying I'm not an audio engineer I'm not somebody who should be able to toot my own horn but just my experience buying a whole bunch of products having products come through the door and everything um, these products should be around 60 70 dollars individually um, maybe a combo pack or wherever being 150 I I could see that you know 150 140 you know what I'm saying I, I could see you paying for something like that or wherever and maybe you have software um that can you know tune the mic to remove the background noise and i think that's really all you really have to do technically in my personal opinion 
is have something to remove the background noise, obviously get the microphone off the desk. You never want to have your microphone on the desk. Stop doing that. I know it's you, Josh, in the background. Stop doing it. I said, Josh, my brother's name is Josh. Now he's going to think I'm talking about him. But anyway, uh, with that being said, y'all take care. Have a squid day. God bless you and yours. Again, thank you, Joey, for doing this. Um, I'm really, really excited to, to see what you're going to keep uh, bringing in the future. With that being said, deuces, everybody. Much love.